everyone. Welcome to Teddy Bear. Rise and shine and get got the glory, glory. Rise and shine and get got the glory, glory. Rise and shine and get got the glory, glory. Children of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. I am so glad that you're here joining us today. Let's start with a prayer. Put your hands together, bow your head, and close your eyes. Thank you, Jesus, that you care about us when we are sick. You are always with us to comfort us. Thank you for our strong bodies and good health. Amen. Last week, we learned about how much Jesus loves and cares about children. When his disciples tried to stop the children coming from close to him. Jesus said that, let the children come to me. And also that everyone must become like these little children if they want to enter God's kingdom. Today we are learning about the two of Jesus' miracles. When Jesus was on earth, he healed many sick people. Today's story is about how Jesus healed two different women who had a strong faith in him. One had been sick over 12 years. The other woman had already died, but Jesus brought her back to life. Isn't that amazing? Let's listen to the story. Two Miracles one day, a man named Jairus came to see Jesus. He cried, Jesus, please heal my daughter. She is dying. If you would just touch my daughter, Jairus said, she would be healed. So Jesus and his disciples went with Jairus. A large crowd followed Jesus as he walked to Jairus' home. Just then, a woman pushed through the crowd towards Jesus. She had been sick for 12 years. The doctors could not heal her. The woman believed that Jesus could heal her. She thought, I know if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. As the woman got closer to Jesus, she reached out and touched him. She was healed in that moment. Jesus stopped and turned around. Who touched me? Jesus asked. I felt power go out of me. The woman knelt before Jesus and said, I am the one who touched you. Jesus said, Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Finally, Jesus arrived at Jairus' house. The people said it was already too late. His daughter had already died. Jesus said, Jairus, trust me, your daughter is not dead. She is sleeping. Jesus told everyone to leave the house. Then Jairus and his wife went with Jesus into the girl's bedroom. Jesus knelt down beside her and said, Wake up, my child. Right away, she opened her eyes and climbed out of bed. Jairus and his wife were overcome with joy. That was today's story. Who asked Jesus to come and heal his little girl that was dying? His name was Jairus. Why did the woman who was sick for 12 years touch Jesus' clothing? Because she had very strong faith in Jesus, she simply believed that if she touched his clothing, then he she will be healed. What did Jesus do when he heard that Jairus' daughter was dead? He told everyone to leave the house and then kneel down, pray. And then said, wake up my child. And then what happened? She opened her eyes and got out of, the, got out of bed. She was healed right away. That's an amazing miracle, right? <coughs> now it's singing time. Yay! Ooh. Hi, Claude. Hello. Thanks for coming and joining us. Yes. Let's start with Jesus Loves Me as a user, okay? One, two, three. Jesus loves me, this I know. Oh, the Bible tells me so Little ones to Him belong They are weak but He is strong Yes, Jesus loves me Yes, Jesus 
Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Yay! Next, let's sing the Read Your Bible Pray Every Day song. Let's sing with the motions. You remember? Can you come with? Can yes, you join with us? Words. Okay. One, two, three. Read your, your Bible and pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible and pray every day. Then you grow, grow, grow. Then you grow, grow, grow. Then you grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible and pray every day. Then you grow, grow, grow. Yay! Everybody did a great job. Last song. Let's sing My God is so big. Alright? Can you do that? With the motions. One, two, three. My God is so big. So strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do for you. My God is so big. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the stars are His handiwork too. too, too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you and you and you and you. That was fun. Everybody did a great job. This week's craft is the paper roll butterfly. <laughs> Please make one and take some pictures and share them with us. It's time to do our closing prayer. Put your hands together by your head and close your eyes. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us so much. Please help us have, have strong faith in you as the woman in the story did. Help us to show your love to others and tell people about you. Amen. I would like to say thank you for everyone who joined the last Zoom meeting. It was such a pleasure to see you all and listen to your stories. It's already time to say goodbye. Aww. I miss you all and I am looking forward to seeing you next week. Bye bye. Annyeong. I love you guys. <laughs>